You want to know how to make a Minecraft server in 1.21.5, and in this video we're going to show you exactly how to do that. We're going to cover everything. Now I do want to mention this server is not a 24 hour server, it's only going to be up and running when your computer is up and running, plus it's hosted on your own internet connection and your own computer, meaning you need really good internet and a good computer in order to run this server and allow your friends to play on it. Plus it's only meant for your friends, your family, people you trust. That's because anyone who gets the IP address, the server we're starting in this video, can DDoS you. That means basically hit your internet offline and they can also figure out where you live down to your latitude and longitude coordinates I meaning you want to make sure it's someone you would basically invite over to your house before sending them the IP address to this server. With that being said, what if you don't have a good computer? What if you don't have good internet? What if you don't have to worry about any of that and you just want to get a Minecraft server up and running the simplest and easiest way possible? Well, that's where our company Simple Game Hosting comes in. Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown .xyz simple to start a Minecraft server in just a few minutes where it's up 24-7 or anytime that you want where you can make it public or private and you don't have to worry about who joins your server it's completely secure and hosted on our hardware I mean you don't have to worry about having a good computer or internet connection simple game hosting takes care of all of that plus there's easy one-click installation of mod packs you can add mods to your server and customize your server with plugins anything that you want to do to your server as far as customizing it goes you can do it quickly and easily at simple game hosting plus there's expert live chat support there to help you out should you add a mod to your server the server's crashing you can't figure out what's going on simple game hosting has live chat support there to help you with those issues and get the server back running because well the goal of simple game hosting is for you to spend less time managing your server and more time actually playing minecraft so go check out simple game hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash simple and start your minecraft server in just a few minutes the simple way where you don't have to worry about hardware security any of that stuff it's all taken care of for you Nevertheless, what if you do want to host a good server on your own computer? Well, that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So go to the second link in the description down below. That will take you here. This is our in-depth text guide on getting a Minecraft server. It goes through everything in a text format. If you prefer that, this is here for you. Otherwise, if you prefer a video, well, let's go ahead and once you're on this page, click on this green download Minecraft button to go to Minecraft's official website. Once you're here, go ahead and click on this Minecraft underscore server 1.21.5.jar link here. That will go ahead and after a few seconds, open up this where you're going to need to keep or save this file. This is downloading the server.jar file and this is from minecraft.net minecraft's official website so it's 100 percent safe to go ahead and click save here and download because if you've downloaded minecraft before you've used this website before nevertheless we can now go ahead and minimize our browser what we want to do is now create a new folder on our desktop so right click new folder you can name this anything you want you can name it simplegamehosting.com or you could just name it minecraft 1.21.5 server whatever you want then go ahead and drag and drop the server.jar you downloaded into this folder so we drag and drop the server.jar here into this folder right like so and that server.jar for me went into the downloads folder for you it could have went to your desktop wherever files typically download for you once you've got this in your Minecraft 1.21.5 server folder, what you want to do is just double click on this. Now, if for whatever reason yours doesn't have .jar at the end, that's okay. We can click up here at the three dots, click on options, and then we want to make sure that file name extensions is turned on in view. That is called here hide name extensions for known file types. If we click apply, uh, it'll go away. It'll just say server. If we go ahead and turn that back off, click apply, and now we have the .jar there. You can also change this by going to view, and then show more file name extensions, right like so, toggling it on and off. So nevertheless, once you've got this server.jar, go ahead and double click on it. Now it should go ahead and start. If it doesn't, and it doesn't give you these files and folders here, or I should say it's tip to start by generating these files and folders. If it doesn't do that when you double click on it, you get some kind of error, something like that. What you need to do is go download Java. Specifically, right now, Java 21 is required for Minecraft. In the future, that could change, but for Minecraft 1.21.5, we need Java 21. This is an in-depth guide on getting Java for Minecraft mods and servers. So this is going to show you how to get Java for Minecraft servers. It goes over everything you need to know. You're also going to need to run the jar fix. So first, get Java and then run the jar fix and you'll be able to double click on that server.jar file and it will open up and generate those files and folders that it needs to generate. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and what we want to do is as soon as we've double clicked on that server.jar and gotten these files, open this eula.txt file. This can be done by just double clicking on it. When you do that, it will open it up in notepad and we can go ahead and change eula equals false here to eula equals true. T-R-U-E exactly like that. Then go ahead and click file, save. There we go, eula equals true and it is now saved and that is assuming you agree to the Minecraft EULA which we do so you can go ahead and change that save it close out of this and now when we don't click that server.jar file your server is going to start 
It's that easy to get a Minecraft server up and running. Now, your friends can't join at this point, but you can. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I can join this server. I would recommend you checking that as well, making sure you can join. And then once you've joined, you'll be good to go. We'll be able to move on to allowing your friends to join. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Minecraft with the Minecraft launcher here. And I will meet you in 1.21.5 to make sure we can join this. So here we are. Our server is online and Minecraft is open. We can now go to multiplayer, click proceed and add a server. You can name this anything you want. I'm going to name it local connection because this is a local connection connection. You're the only person who can join this using your own local computer. But the reason we're doing this is just to make sure the server works. It's not lagging with just you online, things like that. So let's go ahead and use the server address localhost. All one word exactly like that. That's going to be the IP address that we use for this server. And when you click done, it will go ahead and automatically resolve right like so. We can go ahead and double click on this local connection and it will join in. We'll see us join on the left hand side here. And we are now in game on this server. Go ahead, run around, make sure you're not lagging, things like that. If you are, then you're definitely going to have some issues when your friends join the server because, well, it's going to be lagging, having issues, things of that nature. With that being said, if you're good, things seem to be working fine. How do your friends actually join this server? Well, for your friends to join, you will need to port forward. In the description down below, we've got an in-depth guide on port forwarding that goes over everything you need to know to port forward a Minecraft server. This is in both in-depth text format and video format, ensuring that no matter what, you will be able to port forward a Minecraft server and get things up and running. If that seems like a lot, you do not have to port forward at Simple Game Hosting. It's one of the best things about hosting with a host like Simple Game Hosting. You don't have to port forward at all. You just start your server and you're good to join. Now, I also want to mention that Minecraft servers occasionally will break. Let's say you port forward, your friends can't join all of a sudden. Your server starts randomly crashing. All of that stuff. Well, here is an in-depth video going over a bunch of different ways, over 20 minutes of me just fixing different issues that Minecraft servers have, basically teaching you how to fix a broken Minecraft server in a bunch of different ways. So go check this out and make sure that when your server does break, you've got something here and you've got some knowledge on how to potentially fix that. With that being said, if you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Enjoy your brand new Minecraft 1.21.5 server and we'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.